In this video, we're going to be using Strike Gold Shave, Happy Land Studio Barbershop, and the Alpha Claymore Evolution Single Edge Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the video today, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and we are looking forward to the shave today because we are using Straight Gold Shave Happy Land Studio Barbershop, the longest name <laughs> probably of all time for a shaving soap. But this is a very nice scent. And this was kindly sent to me by Edward Well. So Edward contact me so I can talk to you about this. Thank you very much. This is a very nice scent. And also, I had been sent samples of this in the past by Jim Cohn from Jim Co. Shaving. Go check him out. And I think Doug Bear might have sent me a sample as well. And I think I just passed them along to other people when I was passing along samples. This is a very nice uh, scent. I tell you what it reminds me of, and I'm not saying it smells exactly like it, or I'll tell you what smells like this. PAA Fresco, it has that sort of vibe to it, a musky sort of vibe. That's what this smells like to me. It's got good scent strength, at least medium to medium high. This comes to you from Strike Gold Shave, $28.99 for five ounces or on a cost chart, $5.79 an ounce, which is pricey, but it is a good quality soap and I do like the scent on this one. I'll put the scent notes for you on the screen right there. This is not your typical barbershop type scent that's sweet. This is lavender, musk, leather, pepper, bitter orange. Really nice scent. I like it a lot and I look forward to using it. This is in the, I believe, the Strike Gold Shave Patriot Base. I'll show you the ingredients right there on the screen. It is a good quality So, I've heard some people before, at least one person say they weren't very impressed by the base, but I think the Strike Gold Shave Base is very good quality. It runs up there with the best as far as I'm concerned. It's very easy to lather, easy to use. I'll show you a lather shot right there. Super creamy, super nice, not finicky whatsoever. And this one, it smells great as well. So we look forward to using that today. The razor for today is the Alpha Claymore Evolution Razor, and this uses Artist Club style blades, which are single edge and they're pretty wide. And this razor retails for about $144.49. When I got this, it also came with a stand, it came with a brush, sort of travel brush case, it came with 20 Feather Pro blades, which is what I have loaded in here. And it's a nice looking razor, and they also make a version of this for executive shaving in the UK. I don't know what that razor is called, but it's essentially like this. And on the bottom or on the butt, uh, this one says Alpha, the executive shaving model will say executive shaving, whatever they call it, because I can't, I don't know off the top of my head, but it's a nice uh, single edge artist club style razor and we haven't used it for a while, so we'll use it today. All right, let's get into it. And we'll start by misting the face in this plain water. And a lot of people have told me that they have picked up this mister and they really like doing it because they don't make a mess all over their sink splashing water all over the place so that is awesome i'm so glad you like it it always makes me happy when you like something that uh i like using and the brush for today is this is the ap shave co one of their um handcrafted series and our lather today is nice and creamy it is good good stuff look at that probably can't see it but there is some creamy goodness right there of course we try to work our lather into creamy goodness every single day, regardless of which soap we use, and we are usually pretty successful at it. If you wanna know how I lather, check out the lather tutorials below. And remember folks, I try to link a lot of stuff for you below. So I'll link this soap at Strike Gold. I'll link the razor. I don't think the razor is in stock right now at Alpha, but it might be at Executive Shaving. So if you're interested, check it out. And that is good stuff right there. But anyway, I put a lot of links for you below for your convenience. And some of them are affiliate links. So if it's under the affiliate link section and you use it, it helps the channel. So thank you if you do, but only buy stuff that you intend to buy um, and try to enjoy it to the utmost. And man, this is nice. It's got a great scent. Like I said, it was easy to lather and we're just gonna be having fun today with this shave. Cause really that's what it's all about, isn't it? Oh man, really nice again. Fresco by PAA sort of has uh, a similar vibe to it. I'm not saying it's exactly the same because it's not, 
but it has a similar vibe. So if you like Fresco, you may very well like this one or vice versa, vice versa, however you say that. <laughs> All right. Let's cut that back just a little bit more and clean that up a little bit before we get started. Again, welcome in, make yourself comfortable and check around. Look at some of the other videos. I have many, many videos on this channel. And so check around and see if you, you like something and prop your feet up and just have a good time. All right, here we go. Alpha Claymore Evolution. And that's just very nice and very smooth, which I expected. This blade has about, oh, I want to say about probably seven shaves on it and it's still feeling smooth. So a lot of times I'll, I'll be asked how many shaves you used an artist club style blade for, which is, which this is. And most time I'll say, I don't really know. I usually lose track, but this one I had it marked six. Um, and so unless I've forgotten to mark it at some point, I believe this is shave seven and it still feels really nice and smooth. So. That's good. That is one of the advantages of the Artist Club style blades. They tend to last a little longer. They may last longer for you or not quite as long, depending on your beard and the way you use the, the razor, and the way you care for the blades. Um, could be less, could be more. It just depends. But generally, these Artist Club blades will last longer than um, a double edge razor blade, for sure. They're thicker. They're, um, they just, tend to keep a serviceable edge a little bit longer. And this razor is quite a smooth uh, shaver. Um, I think the closest thing you can compare it to is the Razor Rock Hawk. Now the Hawk is about half the price. It is stainless steel too. This one feels just a little bit more clunky than the Hawk, but it's a smooth shaver. It is a good shaver. And I've thought about, you know, letting this one go, but I don't know, you know, I, uh, part of me likes it, part of me really likes it, but the other, other part of me is like, well, I already have the Hawk, and to me, it sort of shaves similarly, and the Hawk, I prefer just a little bit to this one, but this is a good shaver, so as far as that goes, you know, just, just know that, in my opinion, the Alpha Claymore Evolution SE is a quality shaver for sure. But you can get the Hawk for about half the price. So if that matters to you, you know, something to think about. All right, let's re-mist the face and then we'll get involved with pass two here. I hope you all are having a great day today. Let me know below, what did you use today? What was your shave of the day? Do you use single edge um, razors like Artist Club style? Or do you own one or do you want one? I'm interested to know what your thoughts are. And also let me know below, if you're somebody who uses um, Artist Club style blades, how many shaves do you get from your shaves? I'm very curious. I always guess that the average is probably somewhere between five and 10, but some people get many, many more, some people get less. So let me know below, how many, how many uh, shaves do you get from Artist Club style blades like Feather Professional or Chic Pro Line? Kai makes them as well. There, there are quite a few choices, but not as many as DE, of course. And man, I'm telling you what, there's some creamy goodness right there in that lather. <laughs> Look at that. So I'm telling you, if someone tells you that the Strike Gold Shave Base isn't very good, I don't think so. <laughs> Just my opinion. I mean, they're entitled to their opinion as well, but I think this is a quality base. And I think it compares favorably to a lot of the other um, great bases out there. And for me, honestly, the base is not super critical because most of the shave soaps are good today. And if you lather them properly, the number one factor in achieving a great um, uh, amount of slickness and quality that you want in a lather is you. You, the practitioner of shaving or the user of the product. If you lather these products well, they're gonna be slick. And so when I see someone who says, you know, I used this soap and uh, I didn't find it to be slick. And I have done that myself, people. So I'm looking myself squarely in the mirror when I'm saying this. I have made mistakes in the past um, using products and not lathering them in a way to get the best out of them. And then I go, oh, the soap isn't slick. Well, it's not that the soap wasn't slick. I didn't do a great job of lathering it and getting the best out of the soap. 
And it does take a number of uses to sort of get the best out of each soap. It's not rocket science, don't get me wrong, but if you find you use a soap and it's not slick, go back to the drawing board, change the way you lather it until it until it's slick, because if it's a reputable soap, in other words, if it's something that you're seeing here on YouTube regularly, or you're seeing it sell out in the stores, it's assuredly going to be pretty good quality. So if, if something is happening and you're not getting great results lather-wise, um, you might just have to work at it. You might have to use more product. You might have to use more water. You might have to use less product, less water. You know, you really have to figure it out. But for me, I like to make sure I'm getting a fair amount of uh, hydration in my lather. And that lends itself to really good slickness and re really good residual slickness with residual slickness being that slickness that's left behind once the visible ladder is gone. Just work at it is what I'm saying. Don't use a soap one time and just go, oh, it's not slick. And I have done that in the past and I have come had to come back and eat crow and apologize and, 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 uh, and go, I was wrong. In the, I'll give you a very good example. About a year or so, maybe two years. Now I used a sample of, uh, oh gee, what was the soap? Sebum sebum gold which is very expensive and i used part of the sample i did not use enough and it was not slick and through that entire video i was complaining about how it wasn't slick and it was nonsense and then later i used it again i used more product and it was perfectly slick it was my fault and so what i try to do these days is make sure that I lather the soap in a way that gets the best out of it. Now that said, some soaps you will prefer over others. Like for me, I have stopped using soaps that are super soft and goopy because I just don't like using them. And I have to use two or three times as much product and that is not fun for me, so I won't buy those soaps. Um, but you might find the way you lather, it doesn't require two or three times the product. Like, Or if you face lather, you might have a different experience. So the experience can be different, you know, per you, the... Um, the user of the product. So just keep that in mind today when you're thinking about soaps and maybe you come across one you don't think is slick. Go back to the drawing board, give it a shot, try to make it work. And if it doesn't work for you, maybe it's just not a good fit for you, but it doesn't mean the soap is not slick. So when we see these declarations about a soap not being slick, it's almost never act the actual case. It's not slick for that person and it's likely a user error and it has been with me so I'm not pointing fingers at anybody else I'm pointing it squarely at myself because if I make a mistake I will let you guys know and I did make a mistake in the case of uh, uh, sebum gold in particular I just didn't lather that soap well I did not use enough product so it's critical to try to get the best out of the product before you dismiss it and, and claim it's not slick uh, in my opinion however you know if you use it a number of times and you're like, you know, I'm just not dialing in. It's not working for me. It's okay. You know, just move it along. But I can tell you, and I say this a lot, not in a bragging way, but just, just to give you an idea of level of experience, well over a thousand soaps have been through this, this channel over the, the, the number of years. And there's almost no soap if you lather it properly that will not be really good and slick. So let's do a quick cross pass here real quick. And then we'll close it out. And this soap today, it is creamy and it is slick. So I, I'm going to just push back on that comment I read about it not being a good base because I, I think it is. It's very good quality. And, you know, the result speaks for itself. Look at that lather, you know, lather shot. That is creamy goodness. So there we go. <laughs> now it's a little pricey, like I said before. But in this case, so this was sent to me by Edward Wells. Thank you again, Edward. Would I buy this with my own money? Yes, I would. So what I want to make sure I'm, I'm trying to do moving forward is when I'm sent something, I want to try to answer the question is, would I buy this with my own money? Because that's really what you guys are after is, do I like it enough that I would buy it with my own money? Yes, I would. And sometimes the answer to that question would be no, but today it is a yes because it's a great scent. I like it. And the, again, the most similar thing that smells like this because this soap became, this soap came along before Fresco from PAA, sort of has a Fresco vibe. And every time I say that, someone will come along and go, no, it's not. It does to my nose. <laughs> so, 
There you have it. By the way, the razor has been just working beautifully today. Great residual slickness on the soap there. Really awesome shave today. A lot of fun, a lot of great discussion. And thank you all for joining me. I really appreciate it. All right, that was superb. Let me rinse and then we'll come back, get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off came with Daddy Warm Water Rinse Remove Soap. And then we applied our PAA Elm. There was no stinging there. So that was a super smooth shave. No necks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Excellent shave. Following the Elm, we did a cool water rinse. And then we tiled off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber and Aloe. I love that stuff. It is great stuff. Excellent shave today. With Strike Gold Shave, Happy Land Studio Barbershop, the longest name ever for a soap, I think, but it is good stuff. If you like PAA Fresco, you might like this one. Uh, it is unique, um, as far as I can tell, in terms of barbershop scents. I'm not sure that I've smelled a barbershop scent like this. I like it. It's very nice. Big thumbs up. Good quality, too, so I really enjoyed it. Thank you, Mr. Edward Wells, for sending this my way. I really appreciate it. The razor for today was the Alpha Shaving Claymore Evolution Single Edge Razor, which is really nice. I think I'm warming up to this thing. I was thinking about selling it uh, because it's kind of duplicative with my Hawk version three, but I'm like, you know, I kind of like it too. That was a really smooth shave and I'm digging it. It's definitely a good quality single edge uh, artist club style shaver. I enjoyed using that very much. We used our um, AP Shave Co brush and it's riding in our Lancaster Razor Works brush. <laughs> Soaking mug. We used our HCNC bowl, which I've been using exclusively for well over a month, and it is really, really good. I like that a lot. And we're going to close it out today with uh, Straight Gold Shave Happy Land uh, Barbershop, uh, Happy Land Studio Barbershop <laughs> Aftershave. That long name gets me. Um, and we're going to be smelling great and having a good day. And I hope wherever you are, you're going to be smelling great and having a great day as well. And remember, Shoot somebody a smile today. Say something nice. If you encounter some negativity, try to offset that with positivity. And remember, let's try to lift people up. Because if we lift them up when they're sour pusses, we don't have to lift them out. Because we're not going to tolerate these sour pusses. <laughs> we got to get everybody up and having fun and enjoying it. Thank you so much, folks. I really appreciate it. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB. Reminding you, to shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.